Hey guys, this is my update one for Skincare 20 in 2020 project pan. So I have good news, I finished up 8 products which I'll insert clips for but bad news is I only have 3 products here to show you because um, some of it is done, some of it isn't and I have 11 that is still not done but it's inside Malaysia which I did not bring with me so those I'll be inserting clips too. I hope that's okay given all the moving here and there because of the situation in the world right now. So I'll also be referring to my phone for the list. First up, Etude House Toner. That was like a moist full collagen toner so it wasn't an exfoliating toner. And I recently just opened in the intro video that is inside Malaysia. I've been using it occasionally, mostly in the daytime because it doesn't have AHA and BHA. The second one is actually a toner that I finished up and it's called the Cos RX blackhead power liquid so i think it was bha blackhead power liquid toner and i had less than one third left inside the intro pretty sure it was around like this <laughs> i love that toner so much so i was really like saving it and telling myself not to use it too much too often because i really do see like results with that i'm sorry if you hear anything because the kids are playing and the jet planes are going they rhyme <laughs> so for the cos rx toner i really want to repurchase it once I can justify it because I still have so many toners left so that one third while well, I really savoured it next up another toner and this one is from Pixie so it's the famous glow tonic okay the plane is gone so it was inside my 2019 project and I still had tons left so much the bottle was like this big and I only used out like this much so that is also inside Malaysia and I've been trying to use it but I can only use it at night because it's exfoliating and my face reacts badly in the sun if I use it in the daytime ah next I have something to show you this is the Boots Cucumber Cream and I remember in the intro video itself I opened it brand new silk with you guys and now it smells good and now I'm all done I used it up because this was like yeah, the only moisturizer I had when I first came to Singapore you can see that I really scraped it even the lid I really just like went in and scraped out everything it's all dry now there's nothing left so that's one empty next up is dr jamie lab or jimmy lab serum and i had a little below half it was a frosted glass packaging so i felt that it looked bigger than what the contents were actually inside so it was actually very fast i used that up i know in the last part the little squeezy thing would not reach the bottom so i poured it out onto cotton pads and used it as a face mask for like a few minutes I enjoyed it but that went really fast. Next up, another thing that went really fast is a stick moisturizer from the brand Keep Cool. So when I put it into the intro, I said that there was no product jutting out because I already got it a few months back. I used it up to the point where the container was scraping my face and I even dug my fingers in it. I really like it but um, it finished so fast. Next up is something that I have inside Malaysia and I still am using it. It's called the DHC Eyelash Serum which I just opened the night before the intro video. I use it every night so there is definitely steady progress just that I haven't used it for a few months now because I don't have it with me. Next up, another thing that's inside Malaysia is called the Moonshot SPF. It's this pink color tube and it, it's very good. It comes with a pump and I can actually squeeze the product up too. I opened it a few months back so it's still very very fat at the bottom and I haven't really used that product much. Next up is another product that's inside Malaysia. It's called the Too Cool for School and it is a wash off mask. It was inside my 2019 project pan and it's like a mousse so when I shake it around inside I felt that it was around half left and I haven't really used it much. <laughs> yeah. Product number 10 is actually quite sad to talk about because I try not to declutter anything that I've used because I cannot pass it on to someone else and that product I would never pass it on to anyone in any way. So that is from the brand Iron Skin and it's just a powder face wash. When I put it into the project, it didn't come in a box but it was brand new and I opened it with you guys inside the intro. It is horrible, horrible. I will link my Instagram review because um, I have like all the details down there but it's horrible it's just like it was during Chinese New Year period was when I started using it more and I read on the website that it's good for daily use so around that period I started using it daily it broke me out it gave me and uh, my face became from this color it became red like really red and I had rashes I had rashes inside my ears because of that too the product packaging was so horrible that water would get inside and then it started like I don't know maybe fermenting because it started smelling a bit like uncooked dough and then it it just became a clump and no product would come out I have to put my finger in to dig it <laughs> which was a wet mess 
that was a, one of the worst product ever so it's already out of my project pan and then I have this Bentita Lux body lotion which I was at the halfway mark so it was a 200ml bottle that means that I had more than 100ml left and that is inside Malaysia I probably used it like two times after the intro Dr. Pawpaw is another product that was inside Malaysia and it was the smallest tube that I had uh, that's why I wanted to begin with that but I only had like one third used so I still had two thirds to go through and also I remember after that I realized that this product goes very slowly so whatever uh, Dr. Pawpaw I think I still have some inside my collection but I took out some and I gave to my friends too that one I also haven't been using much Next up is the Grow Gorgeous Hair and it's inside Malaysia. I had one quarter used in the intro so I um, still had a lot left and you really don't use a lot each time but uh, because it's inside the project pan, I'm hoping it'll make me use it more often. So I've been using it pretty often consistently after the intro but I don't have it with me now. Next up, Freeman Cucumber Mask. I did not have much left. I had around like yeah, this amount left and I feel that you do use quite a generous amount each time you use it but I probably only used it same like two times after the intro. Another product that it's all done now is the La Palette Oil and I had more than one third left. I remember I showed you the marking on the bottle and I didn't really like it but I did not want to bring it with me for the house moving so I just forced myself to use it out. I used it every single way like cleansing makeup swatches, cleansing my brushes and that is how I blew through it so that's done now next up one thing that I have here to show you and you can see I really squeezed it I squeezed it to the point where it's all twisted and I can't find the part but I think here here is very sharp and there's actually already a hole so if I were to squeeze anything it would just come out from there this product is called the Carice M Plus so this is the Medeca Soda Kika Cream when I put it into the intro, it was brand new in the box and I remember I opened it with you guys and I said it was brand new sealed and then when I opened it, I showed you that there was this weird brown leaking at the cap so uh, after I cleaned it off, it just always bugged me I don't know if it's because of that so this product is a little bit tainted, a little bit old but it isn't, it, it isn't like expired yet, it's like far from expiry, it's 2022 but whenever I see like the Curry's reviews, all the influencers, they freaking love it. They always like talk about this product and how amazing their skin became after they use it. So I still have a few tubes of this. I'm going to try and use it again. I think it was um, good, but it wasn't like as amazing as those influencers made it out to be. Next up, I have this Slim Whey Oil and I had a little below half left that is inside Malaysia. Haven't really been using much and also don't use a lot each time. And I use that for my tummy area. That product I really have to force myself to use because that scent is not the best scent in the world. It just smells very herby and like mud. Yeah, like mud. It's just, it's just bad smell. <laughs> Next up, I have this one which I'm all done with and it's from the brand HYGGEE. -E. So it's a Korean brand, I don't know how they want to pronounce it. And it is a bar soap. So I only use that mainly to wash my brushes and my sponge, it never touches my face. But because you are washing your brushes, it does go quite quickly each time you use it, but you don't use it very often. So when I put it into the project pan, I had a pan in the middle. Basically, it looks like a flat donut. And I'm all done with it now, obviously I don't have it to show you because even like the little scrapes, I think at the last part, I couldn't use it to wash. So I put it in uh, the bottom of my sink. So whenever I wash it, it's like cleansing my sink. Ah, and one thing that I have to show you now, which was actually brand new in the box inside the video when I opened it with you guys, and it's just called Love is Derma. It's an SPF. This is something that I've been using every single day because I have this window here, so I'm always sitting right here. The sun is always on my face. This one is a UV shield. It comes with SPF 50 and it is a beige color. So you can see that I really use it very often. And uh, I just squeeze out a pretty generous amount and then I just pat it on my face. It also helps to like cover a little bit of the discoloration, the acne redness, which is why I've been using quite a lot each time. Uh, they're really, when I shake it, I still can hear liquid. But you can hear like the crisp sound of the shaker inside compared to last time when I first opened it. It's also very light now. If I really have to guess it, I'll say like probably this much left. Mm. Then it's probably going to be an empty very soon. Next up is the Botanicals Eye Cream which I have in Malaysia. I put it into the project pan brand new inbox because I wanted to force myself to start using an eye cream. I feel that I, feel that I haven't been using that very often. It's very... um. 
not really like oily but like I don't know if you can use the word volatile it's just it spreads and then after you put it on I don't go to sleep straight away usually a few hours later I feel like it's spreading everywhere my nose my chin uh, my eyes starts to sting a little bit so I probably stopped using it after a few times of using it and I'm thinking I'll probably use it on my hair when I go back to Malaysia so that is my skincare project pen and I used up 8 so I think it's very good progress it's one more than my makeup project pen <laughs> I've also started a couple other, I think two or three more other project pens that have skincare and makeup in it because uh, I'm just making do with whatever products I have right now. So if you're interested, check out those videos. I hope this was perhaps motivating and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!